Parts of the first coast are still soaked tonight after heavy rains made for a dangerous commute earlier this evening. Some drivers tried to make it across those flooded roads and ended up stranded instead. And all that heavy rain also led to a roof collapsing at an Orange Park condo, destroying one woman's bed. First Coast News' Brittany Dion is live there tonight with a look at the damage. Brittany? Yeah, for, the, for a lot of people in Jacksonville, those heavy rains are over, but for this woman, it's just beginning the issue that she got caused by all of that rain earlier today. Take a look at this. This large hole in the ceiling of her bedroom spans about half of the room. She says out of nowhere, the roof caved in on top of her bed, destroying everything below. My mattress, my bed frame was soaked. When they moved it, it was literally dripping water. My um, comforter set, my pillows, sheets, Everything. Yeah. A dryer sits in the doorway of Ashley Smith's bedroom in an effort to dry out the soaked carpet. The 23 year old says she was inside of her rented condo at Coastal Creek on Jacksonville's west side when the roof inside of her bedroom caved in. She took these pictures. Drywall and insulation cover her water soaked bed. All that remains now is the frame after Smith, who's lived here for two years, said she had to throw everything out. I never had a problem with leaking. So when I came in and there was a hole in the roof, it took me by surprise. But I wasn't surprised at the fact that it was a roof problem just because there's been roof problems. A large blue tarp wraps around most of the roof of her building. She says other neighbors have complained of leaks and the property manager told her the tarp was a temporary measure. Smith says has been here four months. She says part of the roof in a second bedroom had to be replaced due to water damage. Smith says the property manager has been negligent about fixing problems in a timely manner. Now this. I reached out to the property manager. Yes, may I speak with Rennell? This is she. She yes, promised to discuss the issue on the next business day. As for contacting the owner of the unit, well, Smith says she doesn't know who it is. She rented the property through a company the owner hired and says they won't tell her who the person is. For now, the hole in the ceiling will remain for the night. Smith says the manager promised to fix the hole, but won't agree to replace her bed, saying Smith should have had renter's insurance to cover her property. She says she was never told she needed it. So, you know, my birthday's coming up, so it's kind of like a bummer, like, and now I have to deal with this situation, and now, you know, rent was just due. So it's just kind of like, you know, a lot going on at once. Now we do plan to follow up with the property manager tomorrow to see if we can find some sort of solution to this problem. In the meantime, Smith says the manager gave her these bins to try to catch any rainwater that may come in through this hole in her bedroom. Just in case we get more rain tonight, we'll send it over to meteorologist Tim Deegan. Tim, how are those chances looking? Uh, unfortunately, Brittany, the chances are looking pretty high for everyone. That is, well, where the roads did flood, the roofs did collapse. And again, there it is coming at us from the Gulf of Mexico all along the front. This is the same front that came through with the flooding rains over the weekend. Then the record cool morning lows spawned Emily, and now it's all coming back as a warm front. We saw that first big round come through during the day today and worked from the south toward the north. Caused the most significant problems, as we saw, from Orange Park to urban Jacksonville, including the fact that the uh, JFRD had to save someone from a car that was flooded because of the sudden flooding of Hogan's Creek. As we go through the night tonight, although we just have light rain over northeast Florida and southeast Georgia, plenty more in the way of downpours coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. And over the next couple of hours, that will be spreading over Columbia Union and Bradford counties. And then the rest of us later tonight, toward the morning rush. We're going to talk about that. Also, what about the long term implications? We're already a flood warning is in effect for the St. Mary's near the McClenny, where it's expected to reach flood stage of 14.5 feet, meaning at least some roads will be flooded that Saturday morning. We'll take it beyond Saturday morning in just a few moments.